Hello, this is uh, another tutorial on uh, API testing with Python series. In this tutorial, I'm quickly going to show you how to set up um, uh, authentication and headers uh, for the session object that you have created. So uh, let me just show you um, with the help of an example right here. I'm taking the same example that I have used in last tutorial. Like, uh, I'm using Jenkins and just uh, going to exercise some uh, API endpoint. Uh, so yeah he, here this is the auth token username base url and i'm creating a session object here in line 8 then i'm to go, i'm trying to hit uh, this api endpoint uh, and, and also i'm making the authentication here http basic auth um, which i have covered in the last tutorial so then i'm printing the uh, message here json response now i'm just going to write one more line here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the same thing again session dot get uh, say page url then going to just uh, copy and paste the same thing here okay now I'm going to print the response again. Okay. So what well, the point of doing this is to find out whether or not I have to authenticate every time I hit uh, the API endpoint. So uh, I have the Jenkins server already running in my local machine. So I'm just going to run this file. Say Python then the file name base auth1 right so what happens let's see see as you can see the first one i'm getting the response correctly i've been authenticated correctly but the second time it says there's some kind of a problem here basically yeah this is not a json response because uh, i'm getting a json decode error uh, because the response is, is some kind of error message that's probably in HTML format it's not in JSON format so that means I need to send this uh, auth uh, I need to send this auth here for almost every request but uh, if you do that uh, you may have to send probably in a one flow you may need to hit for uh, seven eight uh, you are let's say you have to uh, keep adding the same thing auth equal to HTTP basic auth every time so instead of doing that what you can do is set the authentication for the session object that you created so what you have to do is uh, you need to do session here after creating the session object what you need to do is uh, session dot auth equal to then I just uh, um, copy here this part here and yeah that means the authentication is already done uh, for the session that you created so if I run the file again let's see what happens okay I'm going to clear the screen once okay let me just run the file one more time okay I have some uh, syntax error here let me just fix that Let's see. It's on the line ten. Okay. Okay, there's a bracket missing here, I'm sorry. Okay, let me just run this one more time. Okay, now you can see the both uh, responses are displaying correctly. That means once you set this uh, auth for every request you don't need to give the auth within the request every time you send the request so you don't uh, this will uh, reduce your actually your code number of lines that you write so this is in case of the when you need to set some authentication i'm also going to show you the another example let's see uh, i'm going to open another file here okay this is the basically same example that i had covered in the past tutorial so um, here what i'm doing is uh, I'm performing basic auth uh, but I'm doing the encoding and had, um, and uh, uh, adding the uh, encoded string to the header manually. So, so let's see. So what you need to do is here. 
you have this header you need to, to perform the authentication you need to provide the headers here every time you hit the request you need to do header equal to headers okay let me just run this file now let's see what happens let me just clear the screen once okay instead of base out one I'm going to base out two yeah no, sorry this need to be needs to be headers We just run this. Okay. So as you can see, it has the same problem now. So the well, the request that has this uh, headers configure, it working working fine. That means I need to set the headers every time. So it's, it's the same concept here. Instead of uh, you may have large headers sometimes like uh, like CSRF token or something like that. So instead of uh, adding the bunch of headers every time you send uh, send by the request. You, what you can do is you can just update the header for the session so what you can do is you can say session uh, dot headers then you do update right update okay here you provide the headers in the dictionary format okay you just uh, provide the same thing uh, we just copy this here from to here yeah copy then I'm going to just paste it here okay I'm sorry yeah okay 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 now I have updated my header here for the session, session by using this uh, command here, session dot headers dot update. Now, I'm going to remove this uh, from the API call. Okay, let me just remove this headers. Okay, let's see what happens now. We just run the file again. As you can see, I have been authenticated correctly two times. That means. Mm, this is actually a simple example you have just one key value key value pair here but in practical case you may have a lot of uh, headers that you need to set for every request but if you're going to write it every time when you send the request you get post or different methods uh, your code will get um, uh, will have a lot more, more number of lines uh, in your code but uh, in this way you can neatly uh, do the, all the setup that you need for your session and just uh, continue with the whatever the whatever API you want to hit so this is actually a uh, very useful uh, thing when it comes to writing API test uh, by using Python uh, and request module um, that's all for that's all for now thank you for watching